Today, we're going to talk about firmware updates. One thing we get in tech support department is questions on updating the box, the entire walkthrough. So we are going to go through that start to finish from uh, downloading the program, installing all that fun stuff, because that seems to be a mystery. So first thing you have to do is obviously download the file off of the website to get started. So you go to hobbywingdirect.com, you go to support, you go to download, and then you click on download. You scroll down a little bit here, and there are lots of words telling you what the updates are for. There's a list. If you have to roll back a software, like let's say you don't like the update and you want to go way back farther than what's in the drop downs, you can download the older versions of the USB link here to do that. But we want these ones up top. This is the new stuff. There's three servers. I don't know why, but there's three. You uh, pick one of these guys and it brings you to a Dropbox page. If you have Dropbox, you know what to do. If you don't have Dropbox, all you have to do is click on download and it'll put it somewhere on your computer depending on how you have your computer set up. But the easy part is, is once it's done, it's a pretty quick download. You click on the little arrow and you can say show in folder. You go here and this is it. This is what it just downloaded, this HWNA server one. You click on this, you go up here to extract on the top and then you push extract all and that will get you ready to unzip your files. It, it picks a place to put it for you that makes it easy. I just use the default. It brings it up right into the next screen and you are almost done. You're gonna go inside of here, go inside of here, and away you go. Mm. Oh, it's Windows is very active with its safeties. You have to click a little thing and say, run anyway. And you say yes. And that's gonna bring us finally to the install process. Computers these days are very safe. They don't want anything to happen. I just hit yes, 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 and then install. It said, and then install, and it takes it away. And that's the process of putting it on there. Some folks think you're just gonna plug the box in, it's gonna update, you download that file. No, there's all these extra steps. The big one is that extraction situation. So that's all done. We can minimize all of these for now. Get this guy out of here. And we have our Hobbywing USB link. So now I have a uh, data cord. It's important to use a data cord and not a charge cord. If you use, if any of this process doesn't work moving forward, use a different USB cable. It's as simple as that. I know you're using the one that came with it, but I'm telling you, use a different one. This is the newest version of the LCD box. It has the USB-C port on it. The previous one had a micro USB and the previous version of that had a mini USB. Before anything will work, Windows has to install USB drivers. Like when you plug in a mouse or a keyboard, it does some stuff. So before you can start, you plug this in, Windows makes a chime, and then it's installing some drivers in the background that it's not telling us about. That guy's on, it made the Windows beep. We know we're in pretty good hands here. So now we can open the USB link. I say yes every time because my safeties are all on. And then to update the box, you got to go up to device, make it say LCD programming box, and then you can do the update. If you don't do this part first and go down to LCD programming box, this is never going to work either. So it shows you here it's an LCD programming box. It says what hardware version it is. It says its current version. And as we can see, we have an update available. So I click on that and then I hit upgrade and I set this down so that I don't touch it. And that will go through that process. It takes a couple minutes. We're gonna use magical editing and fast forward. Upgrade, operate, finish successfully. Hit okay. And we're all updated. It says right there, or the new ones now, is now the updated one. And that's all there is to it. At this stage, you are completely updated and ready to go. You can close the program. And that is updating your LCD programming box. If you do have any questions, comments, or concerns, shoot us an email, northamerica at hobbywing.com. Thanks a lot, everybody.